All right, hello, this is going to be a short video on how Quotesoft handles vertical piping in our program, and uh, in particular, how when going through a floor or when changing elevation on a drawing, um, the program can automatically provide you with things you may need, such as floor sleeves and riser clamps, or maybe 290s and a section of vertical pipe. And so I'm gonna outline briefly how this works and show you how this works even faster in our program than all of our major competitors so right here is where you have piping coming through the ground and uh, we're, we've got three inch coming up and then it goes to two inch and so I'm going to focus down here on these two assemblies here the way we account for this is we use our variable assembly uh, uh, function in the program and so what variable assemblies allow you to do is vary the um, items that are in the assembly that are going to populate as part of the assembly and as well as the quantities and lengths of those items and so, for example, I'm going to focus on these bottom two in this demonstration. Um, and, uh, and so, first of all, this assembly here uh, with floor sleeve, riser clamp, and C, um, the way this works is it's for going through a floor. And so you're going to get a floor sleeve, you're going to get a riser clamp, you're going to get vertical pipe of the specified length, and you're either going to get a straight T or a reducing T depending on um, how you use this assembly. So if the uh, branch portion is also three inch, then I'm going to get a straight T. If the branch portion reduces, uh, then I'm going to get a reducing T in this. And that logic is built into this assembly. It's very easy to build these assemblies and they can be modified as well. Um, then below this, we've got a branch uh, connection with uh, a vertical in 90s. And this one right here gives you vertical pipe, again, of a specified length, as well as just two 90s. And it pulls the pipe size from whatever pipe size takeoff you were doing at the time. And so, what we're, going to say, what we're going to say is we're going to say that this pipe comes through the floor here, it takes a turn here, and then right in this area we're going to say there's maybe a five-foot elevation change, and I'm going to demonstrate how we can make that work in our system. So first I'm going to start with this assembly. I'm going to say that this is two-inch coming off the side here, and that maybe I need eight feet of pipe, maybe it's ten feet of pipe or so uh, to get up there. And so we're just going to click this, and note that I can click through, and then I'm going to use my quick keys here uh, to change two different keys. So I'm going to go to my two inch, grab my ball valve, and there's another video on quick keys, but they're a, a huge time saver uh, doing takeoff in our system. And then right here, we get to that point where we have the vertical with the 90s. And so again, I'm just going to come right down here. I'm going to say this changes elevation five feet, and then I'm just going to take that off. And now I'm at the new elevation, and I'm able to just go and grab my next fitting. That's a three quarter uh, reducing T, and I can just carry on from there. And so you see that goes very quickly. Um, we're getting the automatically getting the fittings that, that and specialty items that we need for this. And notice that I didn't have to pull up some big menu and enter a whole bunch of different digits about what, you know, all these different parameters. It knew the pipe size already. It just needed me to say the reducing size and the vertical height with a very quick, simple pop up. And so hopefully you found this intuitive. And if you'd like to see any more information about our program, check us out on, on the web at quotesoft.com. And, uh, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.